get shoes? No. Do you think this is going to go away? No. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know the answer she want. This, listen, you're the only one that knows the answers that we want. I wasn't, listen to me, listen to me, don't look at him, listen to me. I wasn't in that bedroom, he wasn't in that bedroom. And I know, listen to me, listen to me, alright? You were in that bedroom, he was in that bedroom, she was in that bedroom. It's just like I told him a while ago. She isn't going to get to walk down the aisle. She isn't going to get to have kids. She isn't going to get to do any of these things that was taken from her today. And if you don't think that that's my job to figure out what happened to her, then you're crazy. And if I have to stay here forever and I have to work hours and hours and hours to get Olivia justice, then that's what I need to do. And I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand any of this. Do you think I do? Listen, I think you understand a whole lot more than I do. Really? Yeah. I, do. I was asleep for heaven's sake. So How explain much that to me. Explain that to me. Explain that to me. You're asleep, okay? She wakes up. I'm serious. I, I want you to explain this to me. I'm not being an asshole. I need to know for me. You were asleep. She wakes up. You took care of her. And then you lay her back down, right? Yes. Okay. And I'm, I don't want you to get offended by this, all right? When you, you told, you said earlier, you told him you were sick, you were coming down off of Roxy. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, does that affect your sleep pattern? Like, are you a hard sleeper then? What does that do to you? What does that do to your body? You can't sleep. You can't sleep. I mean, so when you're coming down, you can. can sleep. You can. But I hadn't had anything. No, actually, you said you told me you had you had it that morning, and you were coming down. That doesn't make sense. Cause I wasn't sick yet. But you did. You told him you were sick. That you weren't. You were. You were sick. You said that you were okay. sick. When we first started, because I've listened to this, so I because I have a major passion for children and old people and everything else. So, I, so I've listened intently. And when we first started, you talked about how tired you were. You were super tired. Because I was sick, period. Okay. Not because I was coming down, I was sick. Okay. And I had just went to my doctor and got whatever kind of medicine because I was sick. Okay. Yes. Yesterday, uh -huh. Jordan had Olivia. I had gotten up, whatever, and uh, he had fed her and then put her down for a nap, whatever. Said she threw up, whatever, okay. I had went back to bed. It was at the foot of my bed. So, she was all right. So I went to bed. I'm very, I freak out about the littlest thing that happens to her. I have no idea. That's why he always thinks I'm exaggerating. Every time I say something, exaggerating. Because I overreact. You know, I've been afraid she's going to die since before she was born. Because okay. she weighed three nine. Mm -hmm. And that was my fear. But I was sick, yes. So I was asleep, yes. Okay. So are you a, are you a hard sleeper? I'm a hard sleeper, period. Okay. I'm, I don't know you. I'm just asking. So, obviously, from the 911 call, you thought her neck was broke, right? I felt it. Okay, so you felt it. You knew something went wrong. That's not, that's, that's a hard force. I mean, wouldn't you agree that... I mean, I agree a little bit. bit. But I don't, I can't possibly sit here and tell you what happened. Let me, let me tell you what, what else. I don't know. Okay, let me tell you what else bothers me. All right, I'm married. All right. And if anything like that happened, I know that my husband would stay there. I mean, because obviously by 911 you were flipping shit. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. You were freaking out. You can hear you, okay? I don't understand why he left. Do you think that's a normal reaction? I mean, honestly, do you feel like I mean, at the time I thought it was crazy? I, I wanted him to stay. That's absolutely crazy. That's your baby's there. You don't know what's wrong. You called for an ambulance, and then you get in a car with somebody and you leave. That, that's wrong. I'm telling you, if my husband did that to me, me and him would have issues. And I'm, I, I can't grasp that. I, I mean, I, if do I, you not 
think that that's weird? I do think it's weird, and I've told him that I think it's weird. But I didn't. I don't know if he hurt my kid or if he didn't. Because what I know of Jordan Shreve is he's a good person. And he does take care of my kids, and he does care for them. But other than that, I don't know. Because like I told him earlier, you never truly know anyone. That's true. That's absolutely And if I'm asleep, how do I know what happened? I don't. I, I, if I knew, I would tell you. But I don't. I don't know anything. So... I've said that over and over and over okay, again, I and I'll say it to you in the face. I, I don't know what happened at all. Okay, so you do understand why we're being, why, why we're talking to you and why we're trying to figure this out. I understand. I mean, I haven't had asked to leave. I, I get that. I, I get because that. Because I get it. I want to know just as much as you guys want to know. She was beautiful. Yeah, she, she was. was absolutely beautiful. What was her middle name? Faith. What name is that? Because she made. When was her birthday? Huh? When was her birthday? The fourth. The fourth of what? November. So she just had a birthday. So she just turned two. That's what I don't get. She bought all kinds of presents for her. Did it for her? Or? Listen. He didn't do it because I wanted it to. Because if anything, I tell him not to spend money on my kids. Why would I want that? Listen to him. Listen to him. I've worked. So we were I'm having a birthday party this weekend. Listen, I get that. But I want you to listen to me. I've worked several of these. I know he has two. These aren't. This isn't like a... I'm trying to think of the words to explain it. It's not like something that you plan out and it just happens. It's just a... You're tired, you're wore out, there's things going on, and I, I've, I've worked a bunch of these, and they tell me, I just wanted her to be quiet. That's the only, I just needed her to be quiet. I just needed that. I worked a kid that was 17 years old, and he literally took the baby, and he was like, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to make it stop crying, so I just squeezed it, and he, he broke bones all in his body because he just kept squeezing it. He went and... He wasn't doing it because he wanted to break bones. He was doing it because he just didn't know how to make it stop and he freaked out. Do you get what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh my God, I'm intentionally going to kill somebody. This was, oh my God, I hurt this baby. It was accident. I just wanted it to be quiet. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. It happens all the time. I'm telling you, I have two kids. I have a little girl, and I love her to death. So when she was little, I would put, I remember one day, I was trying to hang a closet rod in the closet. My husband was at work. She was an infant, and she would not stop crying, and she was in that bed. And I remember, I was just like, I've got to, I, I just, I went and I sat on my stairs, and I just cried. Because I was like, I, I can't fix this. I don't know how to fix it. And I had to sit there and gather myself and then go back in there. You get to that point as a parent. I've been there. It, it's yeah, crazy. But I, I've but, never hurt my kid for that. But it happens. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't think if he killed her that he like planned out, hey, I'm going to go kill her. I don't think that's what it was. I think that he just had a moment. And he didn't know what to do. And he just... But I don't know. The last time I remember, honestly, was him with her in the morning. And he showed me the puke rags, like I told you about. So, puke rags, I guess it was clothes and Was that puke this morning? It was yesterday morning. I was sick. He had her. I, I, tell me about this morning. He got up and just left? And he got up and told me, hey, I'm going to go meet Billy, blah, 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 blah. Okay, go. You know, I'm in bed. I don't care. And then I get up because my stomach's hurt. And I text him, hey, where are you at? And it, we had a conversation. I already told him what it was. Uh, that's it. And You're then, supposed to get pills, right? Yes. And I asked him, are you going to take Billy home? I hadn't seen my daughter yet. Are you going to take Billy home? Or are you coming here first? He said, I'm coming there first. Thank you. You know what I mean? And then when he got there, Olivia had made a sound. Normally she does. So I, I got up out of bed and I walked over there and I just looked at her. 
And for me, I automatically knew something was wrong with her because she never sleeps with her mouth open, just like I never do. And her mouth was open. And then I started, I touched her. When I touched her, he had came in and I don't know, I screamed his name as loud as I could and I started freaking out and he tried to calm me down telling me you're overreacting, she has a heartbeat. No, she effing don't, I told him. She don't. I felt her arm. I, I went like this to her. Normally that wakes her up like that, but it didn't. So, had you found her prior to him coming in the house or? He was already in. Already in. He was already in the house. Okay, so he was already in the house and you found her. Yes, and that's whenever I screamed for him. He was in the bathroom. I was in front of her playpen and I freaked out and I said, I remember screaming his name really loud and then I, for some reason I remember being on the floor. Just me. And then he, he was telling me to calm down, there's a heartbeat, da 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 da. I, that's when I started screaming, call 911. Just call 911. And then I picked her up. And did he tell you you didn't have time for that? Was that did I hear that? No. He said he, he couldn't do this right now. Because Billy and him were outside. And at that point, Listen, I was so like a smart girl. Does that not seem weird? It did. Even whenever I was standing there, I begged him, please, I don't want to do this alone. And he said, I can't. I can't leave Billy here. And then left. It will he called 911 first because I didn't believe he called 911 because I didn't hear it. And that's why I recalled. And then I seen feet. And I said, never mind, they're here. And hung up. So then that's all I know. he went and took Billy home. And then he went and sat here all he had. had conversation with Pam, but I didn't know none of that. But he never even told Pam about what was going on with Olivia. He just well, that's what shocks me because Pam obviously knows every freaking detail of my life. I don't, I don't understand that either and why he told me about him getting in the car with Billy and not saying a word. I didn't yeah, see. he didn't tell Billy nothing. I told Billy and Billy about flipped out. He had no idea. I mean, I, did, I wasn't able to tell him because I'd never seen him. And I, I didn't call no one. I was too busy worried about Olivia. I, I didn't. So can you leave here and go stay with him? Is that, I mean, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to believe. If you were in my shoes. I promise you, I'm not lying to you. There's, I but what if you swear did, to God. What if you absolutely did not know? And I swear to you, I do not know. I get that. But I also know that you don't seem like a dumb girl. And I promise you, if I just found my baby dead and my husband left me, me and him would have issues. And we will. But the point is, okay, if you were in my shoes, but I'm telling you, you don't know what happened. You just found her. You woke up and found her. What would you do? I flip shit. I do just and, what you did. Okay, but the point is, y'all want me to say something that I don't know. Y'all want me to tell you that Jordan did this and I've seen it that that he's been acting funny that this and that, but he hasn't until this point. He hasn't. I, I don't know what to say. He has not told us at all. You told Detective Perry too, I think it was, that um, you sent pictures. Is that right? Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, on Facebook. What, what was it with that? It was a Jose and Olivia. Mm -hmm. She was just born and was still in the NICU and her feet was only this big. And I sent a picture of that to Jose and to, oh, and of him kissing her leg or something while she was in the. Thing. And I even sent them to Jordan and I said, oh my God, look how little my baby was back then. And she was. I mean, I could hold her like this. And Jordan said, he said something like, wow, or, you know, we can't believe it, or something like that. So that's it. 
and Jose was asleep. I mean, I knew he would be asleep because he works night shift. Where's he working? Outdoors. So did you see he working tonight? I guess so. We need to notify him. That's why we're asking. I asked if I could notify him. Go ahead and notify him. Why? Because I'm trying to figure out what happened to Olivia. I want Olivia Faith. I, I want to know. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I want to know. I don't know what to tell you. You're in the wrong room. So I can tell you. Because I don't know what happened. If I see something happen to my kids, there is no way I could sit there and watch it happen. Well, let me ask you this. So, when you leave here tonight, where are you going? Home with him? If I could have my phone, I'd try to go to my mom's. I might have nowhere else to go. Is there anything deleted on those phones? It's a no love one. What is that? Why is there something deleted? I don't know. I don't know. We're just asking. Just asking. I didn't have time to yeah. delete nothing. I mean, okay. you know, since then, why would I delete anything? So, today is Thursday. Yesterday yeah. was Wednesday. Wednesday before, what, what happened Wednesday during the day? You said you were sick. Did you go to the doctor? I did go to the doctor last night. Was he with you, um, Jordan? He was with me. Okay. And I did leave my baby with Jordan's dad. But she was asleep. I didn't and when y'all got back, she was fine. She was fine. So I didn't, and we, we had, we left the girls with them before, just for a few minutes or under the store, just to do something if they're asleep or if they're playing or whatever. And I leave my phone with them. Hey, call my love, because that's what his name is in my phone. Call him. You know, if they wake up or they start acting a fool, just call him and we'll be home immediately. And he does. I mean, but when I come home yesterday, she was perfectly fine. I mean, from what I've seen her in there, when I picked her up, which I thought was somewhere 4 o'clock in the morning, but it was dark. I had been asleep. You could be asleep for 100 hours and feel like you're asleep for 30, you'd be asleep for 30 minutes. And you wake up and be like, oh, crap. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I told him, you know, I put her in bed with me. He got a little aggravated and said, do I need to leave the room? I said, no, you know, we will. Well, then, I should have left the room. But I did it. I crawled back in bed with him. She was a beautiful girl. I don't understand it. It almost makes it like a dream, like, when we go. How far along are you with this one? Close to four months. I don't know what to do. Do you know what I did mean? I killed my kid, how bad is it? Anyway, I'll never have to leave you. She's not coming back. So I would have to leave you. Is that baby's fault? No. Olivia, your only thing? I'm a six year old. And she didn't hear from her. He always said that I treated the girls different and I did. I never denied it. I did. I didn't have the bond that I did with Olivia. With Peyton, I had went to prison and when I got him out, I tried to get her back, but I don't know what happened. I was clean, I was sober three years, never done anything wrong again.
up for a long da 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 da. What'd you go to the for? Breaking your earring. Stupid thing. Out of Oklahoma? Or out of Arkansas? Yeah, well, um, But if you had it, I'd have not had it. Listen, I know that I know that tonight's been frustrating and hard and having to talk to us and deal with us, but I promise you that we only want I get it for your daughter. I mean and she said I don't like feeling cornered and like I did something wrong and I didn't. I did that. Didn't but we're trust me when I say we're doing this for Olivia. And I would hope and pray that if I was in the same situation that they would do it from us. Do you get what I'm saying? And I know it's a lot to take in or not, but I think that everything we're doing is with Olivia's best interests at heart, honestly. I know that he told you that we're going down tomorrow for the autopsy. They're going to do the autopsy tomorrow. But I can tell you she has some... I see it. I was there. Yeah. And I took... You know what? You said something about... I remember though, because I remember seeing bruises on the side of her face. Mm -hmm. And screaming, that was never there, or something along those lines of... Where the hell did that come from, or... That wasn't there last night, or something like that. I don't remember screaming it, but they asked a question earlier about the phone call. When I seen those bruises, I was a little dis shocked. You know what I mean? Of her face, because it wasn't there. I had just had her. It wasn't there. And he's I remember if that was whenever he was on the phone, or if he was on the phone or about to get on the phone. I don't know. Because they said something about it is. Or what did he say? He said that he is on the call. I was racking my brain to figure out what that was about, but I, I can't recall it. God, I don't recall that. I was trying to tell him, but I don't know. I remember, I remember feeling her neck. I was trying to hold her up. And uh, the people had came in and started compressions and all that on them. And then somebody took me out to the front and I said, check her neck. It took me a minute to say that because I, I was focusing on what was happening. I kept saying, you need to check her neck, you need to check her neck. And then about, about a little after that, they said, take her out. And then he came out and told me she was gone because her neck. I knew that, and it wasn't because I, I foreseen it or I seen it happen, because I felt it with my own hands. I felt her neck pop with my own hand, because her little, her little body was stiff. This arm hurt, this arm I can remember, and I was trying to fix it. Well, it's, yeah, it's called rigor, and when you, when you pass away, your body goes into what's called rigor mortis. And that they get stiff and they then they go out of rigor and the body loosens up again. But that's why she was stiff is because she had went into rigor mortis. But I was just trying to fix it. I didn't know. I was trying to fix it. I thought she was just cold. And I was trying to hit her on her back. Trying to, after I seen stuff on my shoulder, I thought maybe she was choking. So I flip her over. Flip her over. And that's when Jordan flipped her over and I started patting her on the back. Then I picked her up, and then right after I picked her up, I felt it. That's whenever I felt it, and I was like, I, that's whenever I started saying it's broken. Because I felt it. And did he say anything to that? Do you remember what he was saying during that time? I thought he was on the phone, I don't know. I don't know. I never even heard him say a word while he was on the phone. When I called her. I was out the front door and I was finally seeing feet. 
had your last one. Was she on the couch or did you have her? I had her. She was on the couch. And I didn't want to let her go. So I put her on the bed. And I changed my shirt real quick. I, had, I knew I was fixing to leave, you know. But I had the nasty stuff. I didn't know what it was. Took my shirt off and put another one on. And then I, I was like, nobody's here yet. Nobody's here yet. They should be here. So I called because in my head I was thinking, well, maybe he didn't call. And I just thought he did. And I called and was about to say my address for Rossi and the peak come towards the front door. And I was trying to get that dude to come back there. And he's, well, what's happening? What's happening? No, you need to come here. And then that's whenever he seen her and frantically grabbed her too. We started compressions. Then he made me leave. That's it. And Jordan had already left at that time, I guess. How long had he been gone before the ambulance got there? Four or five minutes. That's why I thought he didn't call. I thought it was... I don't know. I thought he was just really thinking I was overreacting. Because he tells me that a lot. Because there was one time... We had at the old house, we had had her in a crib. When I woke up, I always check on her. She's the first thing I go to. But whenever I picked her up, she was acting kind of funny. Oof. My stomach started hurting and I just started panicking. When I picked her up, her little bag had bruises on it. But she'd been crawling out of her crib a lot. So I called her dad and I told him, look, I guess she tried to get out of her crib and she fell, da da da. And he, he said, Jose. And I told him I was sorry, I was still crying, da da da. And he was like, it's okay. And then this happens. And my first thought was maybe she tried to crawl out. Because she was awake when I put her down. So I didn't know if she'd gotten up and. It's a bit strong. Doesn't. Are you positive that you put her back in the playpen? A hundred percent, without a doubt. Because I, I told Jordan, I said, Jordan, we'll go to the other room. Because I was upset that he was upset. And I said, we'll go to the other room. Well, then I got to the foot of the bed and I put her down. And then I told her good night and I went back to bed. But that was mainly because I was tired. Yeah. It wasn't that I didn't want her or nothing. I was just tired. So I put it down. Do you want to call your mom? I don't know what to say, what I say. I don't know what to tell you to say. If she could, like, what I need to say. I, I don't know. You asked earlier. You said you might be able to go there. I didn't know if you were thinking that or if you wanted to go with Jordan or. I don't know. I, I'm just. Wait, we can leave? And yeah, when we're done talking. I, mean, I thought you wanted to talk to me. I thought we were talking. Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've been here all day. If I thought knew I wouldn't have, but point is, I don't. Why would I leave? I didn't do anything wrong. You know, those stupid things that I did. So what are you going to do tonight? Try to call them all. But other than that, I have nowhere to go. What's your relationship with your mom? We have sort of a relationship. She makes me mad. I make her mad. Does mm -hmm. okay. she live around me? She lives in Greenwood. Does she know about it? I, nobody knows that I know of. I didn't know if you had called her before. I didn't call no one. Okay. This says 911. Okay. You know what her address is? Yeah. No. What's her name? Connie Rosenthal. 
is notifying her too. Well, we can if you want us to. I don't know what you're wanting. Yeah, I would like to call her. Did she have a relationship with Olivia? Not really. I mean, she had more of a relationship with Peyton than she did Olivia. Yeah. Okay. Hang time, man. Okay. Hang time, man.